Synopsis. Very well. Test, 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 test. Oh, you're picking up really loud. Test. Test. One, two. Okay. All right. Welcome to Wacom, Texas, the show where we draw some art and provide you, the listener, with a head start. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. Chris Kerr here with Jay Myers. Okay, today's topic for Wacom, Texas is jet skis. Jet skis. Here we go. All right. We are going to start by, as always, selecting a color to draw with. Ooh. All right, we are going with... Blue. Blue teal. Ooh. Okay, so this episode is about jet skis, and I just want to, I want to toss in there that my favorite jet ski of all time is the Yamaha Wave Runner Super Jet. Now that one's got a rooster tail on it like nobody's business. That is correct. Um, it's actually not a jet ski, technically, oh. but, um, uh-oh. It's a wave runner? I might have my pen upside down. I don't know. I think you have to select the, always remember, it folks, seems like we... to select the paintbrush. <laughs> it seems like we now, always... this is like a novice error that Chris Kerr keeps making, but he's only trying to reiterate the point that All you right. guys have to watch. watch there we go. Uh, I want a thicker line. So he's going to go up to the line selection at the top there, click. Oh, got it right there. Right there. You got it. Okay. And he's going to select a little bit bigger of a line size. Uh, or a lot bigger. That's okay. Just a little bit bigger. I might actually even come through with another now, I, series I of I personally waves. like the SeaDoo GTS 130. Now, that is a mm, fine that's machine. That's interesting. A fine craft. All right. I'm actually going to come through with another. Now, I grew up, you know, on the late front, and I'm. I know that waves do look uh, similar to that. All right, I'm going to change the color because I'm actually doing a different wave. I'm going to come across with some green. Come with black. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right. I... No, that's a dark green. And it's okay to have different layers because it. It gives depth to the gives illustration. Depth. All right. I'm okay. now I'm running into. Keep selecting this. black. There you go. Right there. All right. right there some there serious problems. So he's going to add a little bit of aqua color to kind of give it really the lake feel. Okay. And... It looks like a dinosaur's back. You know, if you've got to let your imagination soar. It kind of does. Dinosaur. All right. I'm having some more problems here. It's not actually picking up the... I think it's because you got your... Uh, what is that? That thing? <laughs> you've got on This the is here, um, it's actually... Wood. Yeah, it's a plank of wood. It's actually part of a bourbon barrel. So it's a stave from a bourbon barrel. Now, um, a lot of fine artists now do this trick. This is actually a homemade mall stick. Okay, so the mall stick keeps my palm from touching the Wacom. You might notice we had some prob technical problems in the past, um, usually because I was accidentally touching the Wacom tablet. So this stave is keeping me from touching. Okay, I'm changing to red now for no, the ramp. Black. <laughs> I need some help here. It's like my big sausage hands. Here, I got it. Is I got it? it. I'll take over with the mouse because right. his Wacom. You gotta let. You gotta pick up. All right. There you go. So you're gonna pick red there. There we go. That's All a right. dark red though. Let's do. Okay. I want freedom red. Okay, that's freedom red right there. I have to go back to the brush now, right? Uh, you're still be good to go. All right, here we go. Drawing. Drawing the ramp. Now notice the ramp goes below the surface of the water, obviously. That way it jump. won't. It's stationary. It's stationary. Well, it's like got um, more stationary than if it was floating. Rope and milk jugs, and you fill those with concrete, and then you put some eye hooks in, and you um, just throw it down at the bottom of the lake. Some people okay. also attach hooks to catch catfish from those things. Yep. This is a transparent ramp. Also um, known as milk jugging. Yep. You could say that. Um, all right. Some of the other uh, favorite jet ski, I, I guess I have to give a little shout out to Kawasaki, who created the first jet ski. Um, and their most recent model is a Kawasaki Jet Ski STX 15F, which nice. is also a nice model. Nice. Nice. And also a, a shout out to my family in Red Bay, Alabama. Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Um, they keep texting me asking, how's this episode going? How's the filming? The filming is going fine. And we're getting ready to animate this. Um, 
Okay. Do you have anything else you want to say about? No, I think it's good to go. Uh, I'm done. I always do encourage two person seater, two seaters. That way, if you get stranded out in the lake, you have somebody there to save you. Yeah, and I was also um, using a wave runner in Mexico, and we were in a bay which was salt water, and the salt was spraying in my face. So always wear goggles. Safety is no accident. And watch out for fish. My younger brother actually one time ran his jet ski onto a dock because he dodged a fish. Now that's a true story. Yep. Mark. Also, always keep the little. uh, on-off wrist thing um, attached because if you take a right turn you can go flying off and you want to be able to stop the wave runner. So and you remember what to do here folks it's the same as we did last time it's file save as. Now we're going to save this as Wakeham Texas we're going to call it jet skies. All right. Uh, a little play on the word jet skis. Jet skies and we're going to save it as a bitmap. This is what we've noticed as a copy just as a bitmap that should work oh here we go OS2 that OS-2 save as sorry I get a little stumped there okay so now let me oh. so my family just texted me from a wave runner in Red Bay Alabama they just want to know how we're doing we're doing awesome. fine doing good out there okay so now hide Photoshop oh man where's our image Okay. Go back to Photoshop. Well, you hit it. You can't hide oh, no, something there it is, there and then. No, I see it. it's you can't, you okay. can't hide something and say where did it go. You just hit it. No. That's what, that's what hiding is all about. Okay. Well, no, I meant the photo, but that's okay. So I've got it here. Now I'm going to go into Final Cut Pro, which we've done before, and I I drag in the photo. Long. So now we've got Jet Skies, Wakeham, Texas here. We're going into After Image or After Effects. Well, we're going to go into After Effects soon because uh, I've gotten your notes, everybody. Uh, nobody uses Photoshop anymore. It's all about After Effects. Well, I know that, um, but I am more comfortable with Jet Final Cut. Skis. And I okay. So now we're going to mod edit. What are, what are we doing here? Okay. Okay. So now we're going to animate the jet ski because okay. we want to see the jet ski jumping the ramp. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do here is select. We're going to do a um, a shape for the jet ski. What would you say a jet ski looks like? A circle, oval, rectangle, re- rectangle, sorry, or square? I was thinking triangle, but we don't have rectangle. The, well, I could hold on. Oval. Square. Watch this now. We've done this before too. Remember, we're gonna make the size a little bit bigger. We're gonna make the softness straight up hard, and then we're gonna go ahead and change the color to the jet ski to green. Okay, I was gonna say pink. No. Green. So now we've got the shape. We've well, got no, you're right. That we need. We've got the square. Now what you can do is in order really to get this into a triangle. I'm gonna roll. Let's just keep going. Right. Now, in order to change this into a triangle, you just go to video filters. One of these. Matt. Four point. Done. This is. We're on a roll. We are flying through this. Because the reason I said triangle is if you take the bottom of the so, jet ski and then. You, well, draw I got two watch, lines watch. from um, end to end and then take it up to the person's head. That's exactly right. That's exactly what I was going to do next. So we've got this. Now That's we're going to go ahead and make this into a triangle. That's my idea. For Chris Kerr. Oh, yeah. There we go. Done. I look, let's that make looks it. pretty good, actually. Okay. So that's the triangle. Now what also I'm going to do is go back up to effects. I'm going to go to f- video filters. I'm trying to do this real quick to keep up with you guys. I know we're getting close on time. Image control. Oh, I'm sorry, key, chroma key. Open up your chroma key, visualizer, boom, take out the black. Done. Oh, dang it. Okay, take out the black. There. Nice. So now we're going back to the video. Somehow I lost my four points, but let's just do this again. Let's bring this back in. Oh, what? Okay, we're just going to roll with this because we're running real low on time. So just. just Okay. Yeah, I can't stay here all day. I know, I'm trying. I got okay. it. Okay, so now let's visualize that. That is the jet ski. That yep. is the Yamaha 460. Yep. Or what is the GTS 160? No, this is the um, so Yamaha the Wave Runner Super Jet. Okay, I'm getting winded. So we're going to go to the mini chroma key, just like we did last week. Bring it up to the top and off the ramp. We want that oh, sucker yeah. to fly. So chroma key it, done. Oh, now we're going to sequence, render all, both. Do this. Okay. okay. Less than a minute here. We're tick times ticking. We're almost got it. Sometimes I like to add sound effects, which I'll show you like how to a, do it during another week. Like a Richard Marks 
song later? We could. All right. Oh! <laughs> nice. That's all. Catch you next week, and we'll teach you a little bit more. Maybe we might go over to After Effects, or we can possibly add some sound effects through GarageBand. Thanks for watching, everybody.